Hello guys, Valve, welcome to my true channel. Last night breaking morning, I was in the presence of God with some other people and we seek the face of God. Then the Holy Spirit started revealing a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff that you won't find anywhere. So I want to tell you guys a secret that I discovered yesterday, in fact this morning. And if you're interested, keep watching or keep listening. The Bible says, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. Have you ever asked yourself this question? Why do we close our eyes before we sleep? Yeah, why do we have to close our eyes before we can sleep? Even if someone dies, or let's say someone have an accident or he dies, let's say by strangling or by suffocating, if the person's eyes are open, you will realize that the next person in the scene will try to close their eyes. Or let's say someone dies in the hospital, the doctors will try to close the person's eyes. Why do we have to close our eyes before we rest? That's a spiritual question. And through this question, the Spirit of God was revealing a lot of truth this morning. And if I don't share this one, it means I'm very stingy. I know people on this channel don't want to listen to anything spiritual, they want to live in the flesh. But I know a few people, like one or two or like 20, are interested in spiritual things. Because this world has been controlled from the spiritual realm. That's why we talk about the Illuminati and all these people that are behind the scenes. You don't see them, but they are behind the scenes because it's coming from the spiritual realm. I know only a few people understand this thing. But here's the truth. The reason why we close our eyes before we sleep is because our eyes are the window to the soul. It's an access to the spiritual realm or the spiritual world. Science can explain these things. That's why science calls this stuff supernatural. Human can explain spiritual stuff because they themselves are limited. It's only people who are spiritual that can explain these things. But the truth is that we live in a spiritual world. We have two eyes and I guess everybody knows that we have spiritual eyes, we have physical eyes. And the Bible says that you can serve two masters at the same time. So one has to be dormant for the other one to be active. That means that for you to have access to the spiritual world, you have to close your physical eyes. That's why Apostle Paul spoke about the battle between the flesh and the spirit. That the spirit wants its own stuff and the flesh wants its own stuff. So they're always constantly battling against each other. And he said that for us to become true children of God, we have to have control over our body. We have to subject our body to the will of the spirit, of the Holy Spirit. I know a lot of people want to live in the context of the physical world, but we are spirits living in the physical body. That's why we have these dreams. That's why we have a destiny. So the Holy Spirit was speaking to us, taking us back to John 9, 39 to 40, where Jesus said, I came to this world so that the world will be judged. I came to this world so that those who are blind will see, and those who think they see will become blind. When Jesus was speaking about blindness, he wasn't mean about physical blindness, he was mean about spiritual blindness. He said he came to this world so that the world would be judged. So the, I started asking the Holy Spirit about this stuff, then it took me back to the days of Adam and Eve, right? When God created Adam and Eve and in Genesis 1 verse 26, God said, Then God said, Let us make man in our image to be like us. They will have rule over the fish in the sea, the birds, and they will have rule over the large animals and all the things that crawl on this earth. But if you read the King James Version, it was talking about they will subdue everything on earth. And when you listen to the word subdue, it means they will have dominion, they will have control. And it wasn't only speaking about the physical realm, it was speaking about the spiritual world. So because we had power to control the earth, physically and spiritually that means adam was a spiritual man and what happened when adam lost that dominion he went to satan and satan became the ruler of the earth he became the prince of this world that wasn't the will of god but satan was jealous in fact he was so angry he hated human beings so much that's why he tried his best to tempt eve to make man to sin so the reason why Jesus Christ came on this earth is that we should have access to the spiritual world where we should have dominion to the spiritual world because 
When Adam sinned against God, Adam lost access to the spirit realm. I mean, Adam could no longer control the spirit realm because it's about having dominion over the physical realm and the spirit realm and the spiritual realm where we had control over all these things. That means Adam could fly, Adam could go into the water, Adam could do everything because when put, when putting about Adam, people think Adam was just a normal physical man. No, Adam was not a physical man. Adam was a spiritual man. That means he had access to the physical realm and the spirit realm. And Adam was more spiritual than physical. That's why Adam could, could name all the animals in the world. And guys, honestly, there are a lot of animals that live in this world that you have never seen with your eyes. That, and a lot of animals that live under the sea. They live at the bottom of the sea. Some live in the air. Some live, but Adam could name all these animals. That means Adam had access to the spiritual world. That means Adam could fly. Adam could transport himself. He could astral project himself. To the spiritual realm Adam could do a lot of things that we can't do right now he could do a lot of things that we can't do right now i mean he could fly in the air he could go into the air name the birds go into the sea name the, the animals that live in the sea he could do a lot of stuff man and that's why when adam sinned against god all his all his powers went to satan and satan is giving these powers to these sellouts i mean to these people that's why you hear about witches flying the air, witches flying from countries to countries. I mean, serious stuff. People can fly in the air, and you would think that it's natural. It's not natural. But before it was natural because we had that power. But Adam lost the power to Satan. That's why Satan took the power and he's giving it to these sellouts, to these his agents. That's why you see them moving around, they fly in the air, they 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 kill people, they astral project, they do all these things that normal human beings can do because we are limited. So that's why God had to send Jesus Christ because the main purpose which God sent us on this earth was to worship him and to subdue over this satanic stuff i mean over these demons and over these evil spirits that was the reason why he sent us on earth that's why jesus was saying in this passage that he came to the world so that the world could be judged it means that god has already planned to judge and destroy everything in the world both the spiritual stuff and the physical stuff then he said he came so that the blind could see he means that he came so that if you accept jesus christ as your lord and savior if you're baptized with water and spirit you have access to the spiritual realm i mean you'll be able to control stuff in the physical realm and in the spiritual realm that's why jesus christ said i have given you the authority to trample over snakes and scorpion the same authority that god gave us in the book of genesis i mean the same authority that adam lost to satan when he sinned against god I mean, he has given us the authority to cast demons to fight against these things in the spiritual realm. Before we never had that authority, before we never had the access because we lost it to Satan. That means that Jesus Christ came and he has given us the power to trample over these things, these snakes and scorpions that are living in the, in the spiritual realm, trying to affect our life in the physical world. I mean, that means we were very, 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 very powerful. I mean, we are so powerful in the sense that we are able to control the physical realm and the spiritual world. That's why the Bible says that anything you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and everything you lose on earth will be losing in heaven. When you speak about heaven, it's talking about the spiritual world because you know that three heavens. So everything you bind on, on earth will be bound in heaven. That means that those spirits, you have the ability to destroy them not only here on earth but also in the heavens. I mean, that means it was so, so powerful and a lot of people are blind. That's why Jesus said that word, I came to the world so that those who think they see will become blind. It means that those who think that they know a lot about the world will become blind. I mean, all these scientists, all these religious people where they don't accept Jesus Christ, they are, they are so lost in, they are lost in their sins and they think that they are better than other people. So guys, this was what we were discussing with the Holy Spirit yesterday and a lot of stuff was coming up. I mean, we are really, really powerful, we are so powerful. If you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you are trying to grow spiritually, if you are running this Christian race, doing what God has called you to do, then you are so, so, so blessed and unstoppable. I mean, I came to realize yesterday that 
the main reason why God sent us on, the main reason why God sent us on earth was to bring dominion to the physical realm and the spiritual world. We all know that we have a destiny. I mean, even a madman on the street, I mean, even a homeless guy, I mean, everybody on this earth has a destiny. Everybody knows that. And no one can deny that he has no destiny. We all have a destiny. That's why we are on earth in the first place. We are spirits in the physical body. We have to complete our mission. And we have the authority to rule over the physical realm and the spiritual world. We have to know these things because a lot of people don't know these things. Jesus Christ came, died for us. I mean, God sent his only son to come and do the same stuff. We too, God sent us to, to come and have control to come and control this world to come and destroy this demonic stuff and all this stuff but a lot of people are just sweet with it and they think the only reason why they're here is to make money is to have a nice home to make babies and all these things things that you will die and leave in fact the, the same way you came to this world that's the same way you leave this world with nothing i mean nothing that you have right now belongs to you you will leave it on earth and you will die without it but what matters is your mission the purpose, the reason why you're here. Are you doing what you came here to do? Are you doing what God called you to do? That's the purpose because that's what he would judge you based on. So guys, I think I've said a lot and I thank God for revealing this thing to us yesterday. I mean, right now, I know a lot of demons are angry because I'm spreading this message they, because they know that we're powerful, because they know that we're able to destroy them, we're able to, um, to cast them, bind them, we're able to deliver the lost so they might be angry with me but i don't really care i can destroy them so guys please share this message thank you guys for watching god bless you see you guys in another video bye